Our next speaker is Nicolas Vigneron. Uh, he's been a Wikimedian for a number of years now, and uh, he is one of the organizers of uh, Arctic Nut, which is another conference on minority languages coming up very soon. Um, he contributes on Wikidata and Wikisource, and he will now present to you a conference called Wikidata Lexemes, where to find them and how to use them. Uh, Nicolas, I'm going to promote you to panelist. Can you hear um, me? Yes. Perfect. So first of all, I'm so sorry, but I got my uh, COVID jab uh, yesterday morning, so I'm a bit um, not at the best of my shape, but it should work anyway. Well done to you for doing that. Yeah. So sharing my screen. One. So yes, I'm uh, Nicolas Vigneron. I've been uh, uh, in the Wikimedia Galaxy for 17 years now. Uh, I started with Wikipedia, that everybody knows um, on the planet, mostly right now. Uh, but I moved to Wikidata and Lexim, which we, I will talk about today. Um, I'm from France and more particularly from Brittany, so I speak a bit. I'm a new speaker of the Breton language and the Gallo language, which are both language uh, indigenous to Brittany. Um, so I need to recognize that. Um, and that's it for me, for introduction. So you see my screen, yes? Right? Yes. So you probably know Wikidata, as I said. Uh, there's many things featuring that. You can see information about languages if you want, for instance, Breton languages, totally randomly. And you have the, you already know articles on, on, uh, on Wikipedia. But what you may have not noticed is that uh, it exists in several languages and it exists in Wikidata. Where is the link? Wikidata item here. Yeah? So behind um, uh, the Wikipedias, there's a central database, which is called Wikidata, uh, where you have uh, structured data uh, in a semantic web fashion, uh, like a database, uh, which is also multilingual. But uh, as you can see here, uh, it's one concept for Britain language, for instance, here. And you have labels, uh, multilingual labels, in many many languages, uh, but it's all the same language, uh, all the language for the same concept. That's uh, what was how it was created, Wikidata, um, eight years ago now. And three years ago, uh, the Wikidata community set up a new project inside Wikidata, which is called uh, Lixims, uh, to have specific item entity about specific words uh, in specific language. So if I search simply Breton here, I got a concept or several concepts around uh, this uh, string, of, um, string. But if I put um, L and uh, two dots uh, double point before Breton, I can search uh, not for the concept, but for a word. For instance, here I've got Breton, the French noon. So um, Breton is the same in French and English, but uh, in Breton it's called Brezonek. And you have two, uh, I think there's a, <coughs> yes. So here you have two lexemes for each word in each language. While when I was on, um, this concept is multilingual. Um, that's it. So how, what Alexim's uh, look like? You have a main lemma, some basic information about the language and the lexical category. This free uh, information are mandatory. You will always find them. And then you have several statements and information uh, which are more data. For instance, uh, the grammatical gender, yeah, Brezonek is masculine in, in Britain. Uh, you have some information about uh, the sense or the senses and some information about the forms 
uh, which are all the flexion that a, a word can have, because a lexeme, lexeme is more or less like a word. Uh, more exactly, we can say it's a lexical unit. Um, as you may know, uh, in almost all languages, uh, a word can have several forms. Uh, for instance, uh, singular and there's plural. Uh, in Bhutan, you have some other grammatical features like uh, mutation. Uh, it can adapt to all and any language in the end. So for instance, here you have six forms which all have specific tags. And since it's um, structured data, you can um, manipulate them uh, how you like. You can query them, you can um, articulate with different tools or uh, it's interoperable with many, many API or things like that. Um, short, uh, today is too short to show all of the things around it, but trust me, there's a lot of tools. Um, this is the same, but for Britain, there's no sense, that's a bad thing. So that's speaking data. Um, if you want to know more and everything around Lixim, uh, there's a help page, which is called Wikidata Lexical Graphical Data, where you find everything in the timeline, when it started, what it, where it is, some documentation about the best practice, how to create a new Lixim, some statistics and on what not, everything you want. Uh, all the tools I mentioned, for instance, are here. Uh, and there's a discussion pages if you have questions. There's a lot of things that can be done. Um, then um, I will show one tool to do some demonstration. Um, this tool is called uh, Ordia. It has been set uh, at the beginning of uh, the Lixims and it's very useful to gather together uh, all the data, which are all in a specific item and entity, to have them all for statistic purpose or for examples or whatever you want. So we will start with a statistic, for instance. So I will be able to show you what is in uh, Wikidata, uh, in uh, Lexims. So for instance, you see that the number of grammatical features is 25 million. The number of forms is eight, almost 9 million. Number of Luxim is uh, almost half a billion, and again, again, different uh, information. You can see <coughs> since it's data, you can link it to other database. If you speak a language that has an online database about it, you can link it. So, for instance, you see that there's a, a lot of um, links to Babelnet ID, which is a multilingual. Eluya dictionary is a dictionary in. Um, Basque language, and uh, there's a lot of things in Danish, uh, Swedish, or I'm not sure I know everything. This one is um, Inuktitut language, I think. There's a lot of them, and it's really what Lexima are good for. It's the data, um, gathering data and make it accessible, make a bridge between several databases or linking things together. Um, some other statistics about languages. Um, you see that the, we have uh, 100,000 uh, language uh, lexemes in Russian, for instance. Uh, the next one is Estonian, followed by English. So English is not the first language in lexemes. Yay! Um, and there's a lot of language. Since it has been created uh, only two to three years ago. Uh, it's still in a transitional phase. We are still in a building phase. Uh, the structure and the data model and things uh, like that are, are here, but there's still a lot of things to do um, when it comes to adding content and adding uh, adding pronunciation from Lingua Libre, for instance. Um, adding link to other database, there's a lot of things to do yet. A uh, lot of things are done but you can take part in it if you want. Um, 
some more statistics about the forms uh, on the graph axis. And you see that this kind of uh, graph can be automatically done because the lexemes are structured data that can be queried and things like that. Um, there's other tools in this, um, in this tool, there are other page in this tool, sub tools if you want. For instance, here you can uh, type a text, um, like a text in French because well, I can do it in English. I like my dog. And you say it's in English. And if you submit, it will find all the lexem corresponding to the word you found. So this one is quite easy. Um, uh, you find dog. Uh, it's not able yet to distinguish if it's dog as a verb to dog or it's dog the noun. Uh, not yet, maybe in next uh, release. But it finds everything it can. Uh, it shows you images or things like that if you don't know a word or if you don't know the language yet. Uh, it can help you to learn a language. It can help you to if you pass uh, copy paste uh, an old text with a um, very rare or exotic occurrence of a word, it can help you find uh, this occurrence and explanation. Um, could be very useful. And it's just a simple brick and a first brick to, uh, to do a demonstration of what can be done. Uh, there's uh, next tools that are next generation of tools, a new set of tools totally that are currently uh, beginning to be built to to move more language processing or things like that um, like text annotation or automatic semi-automatic translation or or whatnot or just checking if it's synonyms or things like that um, it's currently in development um, uh, both by Wikimedia Deutschland, which is behind Wikidata, and uh, the Wikimedia Foundation behind uh, Wikipedia, and behind Wikidata also. Um, so more of that thing we will come soon, I hope. Soon-ish, in one or two years. Uh, there's a lot of other um, uh, tools. Um, there's some, for instance, text-to-language. You can just type a text and you can find uh, I like my dog still. And if you submit, it will try to find in which language it is. If it wants to work, maybe today is not the right day. So it's a simple guess, but he found three of this word in English. So, oh, it's probably English. Um, it tries to find in other language. Again, this is just a simple proof of concept for now, but it will be improved uh, over time just to do demonstration uh, for now. Uh, but I think it's already quite powerful. And you have a lot, lot, lot of other tools. I will not show them all. Um, there's um, uh, information by lexical categories, for instance, or, or what, whatever you want. Uh, and there's, to end, um, a search form. For instance, I can type, uh, Brezonek, Britain in Britain, and it will find it, should find it, oh, we try, that's the demo effect, oh, that's strange, why does it work for Britain and not Brezonek, ah, just temporary glitch. So it gives you basically the same information I had before directly in Wikidata, but uh, in a more pretty way. And uh, you can go to edit and do more things if you want, more information around this world. There's probably not a lot of things. Um, uh, that's it for that. Oh, yes. And uh, if the world doesn't not exist, um, uh, I don't have ID, I will type nothing special just to be sure it doesn't exist. You have the button create a new lexemes. 
and uh, you can type whatever you want. Uh, so this one is not a good example. Um, I'm not sure why I, can... I forgot to prepare an example, sorry. <laughs> um, uh, let's do... Um, well, I, I don't have an example, but you can create, and as I said before, you have um, free mandatory uh, uh, field. Uh, the you want to give an example that's probably not on the Wikidata database? Sorry? You want me to give you an example that's probably not on the Wikidata yeah, database? Yeah, please. <laughs> okay, I, I'll write in the chat, Anya Nyao. It's in Getwa. I'm pretty sure it's not there. So you can copy and paste because it's going to be hard to. <laughs> yeah, that's perfect example. And what language is it? Uh, Ketra. Ketra, perfect. Ketra. A language family spoken in the Andes region of South America. Perfect. And the lexical category part of it's uh, an interjection. Is that what you would use? Does it exist? Yeah, it exists. And if it doesn't exist, you can create it. Or if it's wrong, you can correct it later. It's it's a wiki, so you always mm -hmm. have the possibility to do that. So yeah, it is. It's a very basic start, but it's already good. And if you have more information, like uh, yeah. is, is there the a sense, gender? The sense would be, uh, is that a key field? Yeah. Oh, uh, so in English, it would be how how beautiful oh how beautiful how beautiful that's not Publish. and that's it and uh, as you see you can always come back and change oh i forgot to put another w or something uh, there's always possibility that's the wiki way um, there's always a, a dynamic for that you can add uh, different statement different i can add at least one form because i know this main name is at least a form and things like that um and that's already how you can do a quick um, creation by end and if you want to do more automated things as i said there's a lexical that i need to share my links uh, sorry i forgot this one for instance and uh audio yeah, is somewhat so you have tools uh, if you are tech savvy you can Look at all the tools that exist, and you see that Ordia is here again. Uh, there's different forms, like Wikidata Lixing form is a pattern to help you with uh, standard forms. If your language, language is uh, lucky enough to have a standardization, which is not exactly the case for Britain, uh, you have a graph builder around it, a lot of scripts and modules and things and whatnot, and even some little games you can build game around it like i like this one which is to guess the language uh, the gender of words in britain like uh, in uh, german sorry table kiefer uh, kiefer it's das i don't know i'll try uh, oh it was wrong as you see uh, d i don't know yes it was the and you can have a very quick game build around it uh, and you see that you have a point and things like that. This is exactly the kind of tool that you can build when you, you have structured data. Um, and it's just one tool among others. This one is for um, German, but I know that it exists also in other language because they, you, once it exists, you can take the code, it's free license, and you can do it in French and in Danish also. For instance, if you want a new one, you can build a new one quite easily or ask to people who build the existing one, things like that. Um, and a lot of tools that you see. Um, how many time do I have time for some question maybe? Um, do you have Latin or ancient Greek like SIM database that will be very useful? Um, Yes, so as you saw on Audia just before, we have a lot of uh, Lixim in, um, in where is it, languages here. Yeah. Uh, we have quite a lot in uh, Latin. Um, 
It's a strange database for Latin because Latin is a very expanded language. It started, uh, it's expanding on more two, than two millennia. So you have classical Latin and medieval Latin together. Uh, there's some indication, but you need to filter to have exactly the Latin you want. Uh, I'm not sure we have a lot of Greek, but what you can also see that we have 800 um, uh, languages right now, and it's growing more and more. Uh, and it will grow faster and faster. Uh, for now, you see that uh, very quickly when I go to page three or five, you are under uh, 100 lexem. Uh, but it's growing. Uh, slowly but surely, let's say. Uh, I don't know if there's more questions. I didn't check the chat. Here's the link. Uh, what is it? Sorry. Uh, thanks for the people who answered or put things directly in the chat. And this was question for Lingua Libre, so. And yes, this is recorded and you can find, uh, I didn't uh, create a slide, you can find everything I did is directly on Wikidata. Um, you can find it uh, Yeah, if you tap WDLD, you go to the documentation page, for instance. Lexico Calvinland. Is there a tool for batch upload of Lexims? Yes, exactly. If you go to tools, you, know, you have several tools actually for batch uploads. You have, um, uh, where is it? There's Lexicator, which is a boat framework, and there's Lexdata, which is a Python library, and there's another bot, which is was specifically for Occitan, but it can be reused and readapt. So, yes, Reda, can you ask your question maybe? So yes, there's a lot of tools for batch uploads and there will be more and more soon. Uh, I, just, uh, I just gave, uh, I just gave the, the possibility for Reda to ask a question. There is another one from Abel in the Q&R feature. And there is another raised hand. There are two people called Reda and I believe that you gave the right to Reda Ben Kadra, who is our next presenter. Um, but Reda Kerbouch is still waiting to have that right. Okay, sorry. Okay, I answer to Abel meanwhile. So here, if you type dog, you have a Q number, which is a, uh, an item. And it's uh, multi-language, it's not dependent on one language. It's dog, but it's also key in Britain, house owned in German, Peru in Spanish, chien in French, or canet in Italian, on many, many other languages if you go down. And all the data you have, oh, sorry, too many languages, a lot of dogs. All the data you have, like, oh, it's a pet or domesticated mammals, it's true, uh, whatever the language is, so it's not dependent of one language. But if you go to, uh, for instance, dog is key in Britain. Here you'll go to uh, key in Britain, this one. You have information specific to this word in this language and this lexical category. So for instance, uh, you still find animal, which is more or less the same as an item. But if you go to form, for instance, the feminine form is just for Britain. Uh, you see that this word is very strange in Britain because the singular is key and the plural is stress and there's no letter the same. And you have a lot of different uh, variation for the word, ri or gone or whatever. So this is, uh, lexeme is very specific about linguistic um, uh, data, lexical capital data. Uh, is Reda available for question now, Carouche? I think so, Red. I, I think you can. Hello, everybody. Yeah. Can you hear me? Uh, thank you, Nicola, for this uh, workshop and presentation. I have just one question. Uh, now I'm working with the uh, Teshawit language, which is a uh, North African language. Uh, my question is, 
can we, uh, for example, transfer uh, the words from the dictionary to the Lexam directly with a boat or something like that? <coughs> so, um, very good question. Thanks for asking and very nice project. Uh, I hope you will be able to do things, but big but. Um, the, there's before the technical aspects, there's a license aspect because uh, all data and Wikidata are under the license uh, Creative Commons Zero, CC Zero, which is more open than the license on the dictionary. So you don't have a right to magically uh, tra transform one uh, license into the other. So technically it's not possible. But uh, the information about uh, words, most of the time is free of copyright because uh, I mean, uh, the word dog exists in hundreds of dictionary. No one owns the word dog itself. So for the more basics data, uh, like it exists a word uh, key in Britain, it's a noon. This one is not a subject of copyright. So you need to filter and do a careful selection before which is uh, not easy, but possible. And then you have an uh, import tool, as I said, uh, the, the lexical tools. And there's not a tool specific for Wiktionary because of the uh, of, uh, license issue. We don't want people to uh, blindly transfer everything. Uh, they need to be careful, but some of these tools I think can be used. Uh, I know that the Russian Wiktionary imported a lot of uh, Russian words from the dictionary, but it was a specialist of both Wikidata and Wiktionary who did it. Uh, and I think he did a specific script that is probably not here. Um, yeah. Oh no. Oh no, that's this one, the last one, Lexicator, a bot framework to import Wiktionary great clinical data into Lexin. Uh, I stand corrected, it's here. So I will share uh, maybe directly the tools. I don't know this tool actually. Oh yes, that's directly the code in uh, GitHub, but I will share it anyway. Could be useful. Uh, so yeah, things are possible. And uh, Reda, you know how to contact me if you want to know more. Uh, I'll be happy to, to help. Uh, you can contact me in private. Uh, over question, maybe. I know that half an hour is very quick, and I did some assumption that you already know some things about data, but I hope you at least get uh, an overview of how it works. Thank you very much, Nicolas. That was a great presentation. Um, and thanks for the questions, which were really interesting. Um, it's always good to link projects where we're being shown with other projects that we might see later or not. 